Hey there, it's Steve from the Karish team, and obviously uh, world events are having a big, big effect right now on our daily life. Uh, and we are having clients reach out to us to find out, hey, what is going on with the real estate market? So I thought this would be a great opportunity to discuss that with you. Uh, really, really quickly, uh, I don't know I'm not a Red Sox fan. I don't usually wear a baseball hat and hoodie. Uh, to the office and that is because well we're taking the advice of government right now and our team is working from home uh, as much as possible. Uh, this means uh, nothing to you as the client. Our, our systems are totally remote, our phone numbers are all forwarded around, emails, everybody's fully accessible for your real estate needs. It just means though that I get to have uh, a whole lot of frozen playing in the background. I'm not sure if you can hear it, uh, but my daughter that's staying home from, from daycare uh, is watching Frozen on repeat, just had to buy Frozen 2. Uh, and that's the big change for us. Uh, but what does it mean for you as the client and the real estate market in general? Uh, at this point, actually absolutely nothing. Uh, it's it's actually rock and rolling out there. Our, our, uh, our listings are all still quite busy. We have new listings that have just come on this week. We have a new listing in Aldergrove coming on next week. And uh, we anticipate that it's going to move forward. Uh, there will be some people that may want to skip open houses uh, with, with fear of the, you know, the coronavirus and all that sort of thing. However, generally speaking, uh, the coronavirus uh, effects on the stock market have not affected us yet. And if anything, they may actually go the other way. And here's why. Many of our first time buyers, almost all of our first time buyers and our families uh, that are looking to buy home and, and you, you must uh, imagine that every other agent's uh, families are probably about in the same condition. Uh, they don't have a lot of money in the stock market. They're scraping up whatever it is to get 5% together to buy a $900,000 home somewhere. Uh, so they don't have a bunch of money in the stock market. They've got a bunch of savings. Uh, either in a, you know, a GICs or, or whatnot. Uh, so they're not really affected by this. And that's actually what's showing in the market at the moment. Things are still rocking and rolling. Things are going crazy. It does affect, however, the way we are acting right now, because I get to wear uh, a hoodie until I need to go out and, and meet clients in the field. All right. So it, at this point, we are expecting that the interest rate drop will actually increase those first time buyers and, and keep them knowing that this uh, that this whole world situation right now is probably going to go on for three or four months. Uh, but those closings that that happen down the road, everybody's planning to get on with their regular life once we are through uh, whatever the next month or two or three has in store for us. Alrighty, so things are rocking and rolling at this point. Unless anything changes, I will do a similar video to this out to you in the future because I know you're going to want to know not just what's happening with your stocks, which mine have not been very good over the last little bit, uh, but your home values as well, which at this point seem to be very stable and uh, very good, if not anything, increasing. All right, if you have any questions, reach out to us as always. We are always here to help, except here is my house instead of the office. Okay, talk to you soon.